All right, folks, in this video, this lady stands up for her family's rights, making sure the officers do the job correctly. Now, leave in the comments if you think this was racially motivated for the cops stopping this vehicle. Now, enjoy the video. Surprised that I'm actually on a <laughs> my well-known videos at this time of night, but I can't make stuff if I try it. So, you know, we all were visiting over in Gainesville today um, because, you know, Tario's, we went to the grave in the burial site. I get back home. Um, Keon is here with his friend. Um, he walks her out to the car. I couldn't make this up. Y'all know I'm in my neighborhood. I'm out in front of my house. He walks her to her the car, which is in the front of my house on our particular sidewalk. And then an OPD officer has the audacity to pull up and start to detain her and question her. He states that the reason that he began to question her is because he ran her tag. Mind you, her tag that was actually parked. You saw a black young man with a black young woman come out of the car and you decided to run her paper tag to see if that tag was from here in the area. So as I state to him, this is my neighborhood. Me and these kids walk this entire neighborhood every day. I can tell you the countless vehicles that have people in it that are not from this particular area and the countless people that are in their vehicles as many, because actually many of my neighbors are OPD officers. My neighbor across the street is actually a Marion County Sheriff's officer. So to have the audacity because my son walked his friend out to her car in the middle of the night to number one, run her tag. And I got a friend that works as an investigator for the state attorney's office who's already stated to me that's not legit. I'll be reaching out to him to find out the exact way that he told me to do in order to pull things when they just randomly run your tag. Then he wanted to explain to her that we've had, a, we've had issues with burglaries. Now, mind you, with us that all live in this neighborhood, we actually have a Facebook group to address any of that. We've not had that to even try to sell her that lie, that line. It's an issue. I promise you, I could not make up all of the things that happen and that are wrong with systems that we keep coming across because I'll be the person that'll draw attention to it. So right now, the supervisor just pulled up because I requested that the supervisor come over to my aid. So I'm going to pass this phone over to Keon so that he can keep recording while I speak and address with the supervisors and I'll be right back in order to speak with everyone. Hold that and flip the camera.
And of course, as we go through all of that, they stated that they didn't see Keon walk her to the car. He just happened to see a girl come from a vehicle, go to her car. So that seemed if iffy. So when that seemed iffy, he decided to run her tag and realized that she was here from Gainesville. How fucking far is Gainesville from Ocala that you can't be to somebody's house at 12 o'clock at night? Then when the supervisor gets here, they always try to justify somebody's behavior. So then he states, well, oh, you said the lights got flashed on, but he said he had them on the whole time. All the more reason I know for a fact that he saw Keon and all of this light walk her to the car, wait there to see what he was doing. So then when you want to be clear and explain to them that you can see what happens, that everybody's actually in their feelings. You don't just get to run somebody's tag that's sitting on somebody's private property. Tomorrow, I'm going to go on a walk and I'm going to walk this neighborhood so I can see how many vehicles are parked in front of somebody's house like this that does not get detained. I promise you, I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. And when I think the reason that it's up to me to always show you all that is happening, when it's happening, so that you can see it happens all the time. What I'm showing you is not nothing new. It's just the fact of now I feel that it's important in order to show other people that this is the stuff that happens. And then they sit there and they lie together and try to justify their behavior. Leave people alone. Let people live their life. Even when I came out here and said she was visiting us, that should have been the end of the interaction. You're trying to tell her... Well, oh, no, it's because we got burglars. Or, oh, no, it's because of this. I'm telling you she's here visiting me. She's on my property, and I know that, that she's here. That should be the end of that. It shouldn't be anything else. And that's what pissed me off. They always want to insult your intelligence. They always want to overtalk you and always try to act like you don't know what you're talking about when you can see it for what it is. He literally had the audacity to say that it was okay to run her tag and then to question her because she wasn't from here. How many people do you know visit somebody from out of town all the time? It is something that is so simple and so simplistic that an interaction from actually just having a visit with somebody can turn into something that's so negative. Then the supervisor want to tell me, well, even if she consented to it, yeah, because she's so young that she don't know that she don't have to consent to it. She's sitting there trying to figure out what's going on and alluding to the fact and thinking that she has to consent to them giving her stuff. The reason, she, oh, I got their name since the officer thinks I'll be going to cloud a complaint early in the morning because I've been eating this stuff in their file because that's the point. People need to know that there's a consent sense that they need to know that this stuff happens all the time and we don't do that we get mad we leave it alone but this stuff needs to go in their file that's the point they always want to pick and choose how they want to detain somebody what looks suspicious what's suspicious about somebody visiting somebody leaving out of their house and getting in their car even if my son hadn't walked her out it just so happens he ended up walking her out so we was able to head off the negative interaction before it got any further and that's my point to you all. I put this all out for everybody because we have to sit back and stop allowing these things to go on. It is time to vote new people into new offices in order to do new things. So the same way I pay to live out here, just like everybody else, we deserve to feel safe in our own neighborhood. And right now, I don't feel safe in a neighborhood where they think it's okay to detain a black girl for getting in a car.